All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back to another episode of Raid Shadow Legends. And, fellas, today, what do we got going on? Ooh, we got some tournaments. Wait, first off, fellas, before we hit the tournament, check it out, man. We just wrapped up another CVC. And look at that. We picked up another cup over this team with all the funky lettering here. Not sure. Japanese? I, I have no idea. <laughs> but definitely not English. Uh, yeah, and that's is that's usually the case with Raid. We usually play clans from all over the world. Your boy is Mr. International, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> so we picked up another dub. And shout out to the homie Ash, man. Yeah, I'm sure you guys who watch Raid Shadow Legends know who Ash is. Daddy Ash backpacking another CVC Cup. Look at this man. This man dropped 1.2 million and took the L. I would quit this clan. Yo, DK, come join us, man. These dudes don't deserve you. Cold, gold blooded, yo. DK, come join <laughs> Rise from Ashes, man. Come shout shout out to DK, man, for that 1.2 million. What'd your boy do? I came in 17th in the clan with a solid 300k. Hey, man, 300k in CBC is solid. Unless you're like some kind of giga whale. You know what I mean? I did what I could. Plus, I was busy as hell all day. You know, I mean, I had nothing to do. Yeah, trust me. I'd be like right up here, like right where King Buzo and Braun is. Shout out to all these guys, man. Another CVC Cup. Anyway, fellas, we ain't here to brag about CVC Cups. We had to play some uh, Fire Knight, some Epic Fire Knight. And if you guys want to play some Raid Shadow Legends, fellas, be sure to scan the QR code right up here. Or just click the link down in the description. Use my link. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, fellas, let's get into the Epic Fire Knight team. So as you can see, we got some tournaments going on. And we get the Fire Knight tournament. But there's a twist. Oh, damn. Only an hour left. I better get going. <laughs> there's a twist. Raid the Fire Knight's castle using only epic champions to win outstanding rewards. And, fellas, the rewards were outstanding. I've already claimed them all. They are pretty good. You get some, you know, you get money. You get 50 gems. You get an Immortal Soul Stone. An Ancient Shard. A six-star Speed Glyph. Or is that five? Oh my, I can't even tell, man. The stars are so small. Hey, you get a speed glyph. A high-end speed glyph. And you get this. This prism shard here, which I only got a two-star Ruella. Hopefully, you guys do something better. Uh, what did I get? Yeah, I got a two-star Ruella, man. It was not that good. So he has a summon pool. I got a, uh, a two-star of her right here. I mean, she's good. Ruella's good. She's a great champion. Don't get me wrong. But, man, I was shooting for one of these guys. Is, yeah, a six-star Narcisse, a six-star. Any of these guys would have been great, except that our mans. I don't have our mans, damn it. Damn you, our mans. I should have paid way more attention to that fusion than I did, fellas. Unfortunately, I didn't. So, anyway, guys, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. Well, come on, man. Hurry up and load. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good in this tournament. I am in third place. And if I really hustled to get to first, I could. But to be honest, fellas... What's the difference, man? You know what I mean? Five more mythical charms and two more pieces of gear of the same rarity. Like, if this was mythical or legendary, maybe I'd push. I'm not really that far behind, but I don't really see a need to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, where I am right now and the top reward, eh. Really not that much of a difference. I'm not going to sweat my booty off to get in first place in this tournament. Oh, I just want to show you guys the comp. So let's, let's get right into it, fellas. Let's do a run. Let's do a run, and I'll show you guys the gear and the masteries and the setup but this is my comp i'm using for epic champions this is the comp and these are the blessings i'm using with them i'm using seer in the lead naya husk stagnite and i don't know about you guys but stagnite like i've been playing this game for four years this dude i love stagnite i have used him throughout the whole four years i remember when i first got him this guy was like my mvp this guy was like the hard carry no, I don't want to take him out. This guy was like the hard carry. He would carry me everywhere. And Allure. Allure is like the Fire Knight MVP. When you think Fire Knight, you think Allure. She's that good. Any any respectable Fire Knight comp with epics has to have Allure in it. Anyway, guys, we got the super raid ticked. Let's do a quick run. And we are on level 20, fellas. We are farming uh, level 20 of the Fire Knight. That's just the level I like to farm. As you can see, we wipe out the first wave in under 10 seconds. The second wave doesn't really run that fast because it takes a while for um, Seer to get her karma burn back. 
And uh, yeah, Shadow giving love for another CBC dub. I think that's our 40th cup now. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we ain't here to talk about CBC, man. We ain't here to flex about our CBC cups. We're here to show you guys how to take down this Fire Knight. Uh, I, for my presets, guys, all I have on all these champions... And I don't know if this is optimal. This is just what I'm doing. I just have Seer prioritizing her Karma Burn. So basically, whenever the Karma Burn is available... I have it ticked so she uses it in the um, in the settings. I'll show you guys that later. So here we go. We're at the Fire Knight in under one minute. Level 20 using nothing but epics. That's not too shabby. If you guys got a faster Fire Knight comp with all epics, drop it down in the comment section. Let me know. I'm just showing you guys what I'm using. And hopefully this comp will help a lot of you guys out. As you can see, we have this boy stun locked. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Thanks to Allure. Just absolutely destroying his turn meter. So once he gets that shield down, fellas, it's open season. This man can't camp behind the shield anymore. You ain't thunder, baby. Where's the shotgun at, man? Where's the clay biscuits? Damn, we dropped the doom shield, and he's got nothing left. Look at this dude. He's just standing here like, oh, my God. <laughs> he's getting bodied. <laughs> here we go, fellas. Come on, let's go. Let's drop him. We're so close. And, yeah, that's it. The karma burn. There you go, guys. So what do we do? A minute. A minute 40, Fire Knight. And we picked up some tournament points. And we picked up some artifacts here. What do we got? Crit damage set. I, I, blue gear, fellas, to me is an auto sh shard at this. Uh, <laughs> it's an auto just trash at this point in, in my career. I don't use any blue items unless they're six star and have like seven, uh, I don't know, like insane stats. I might, might partake in keeping one. Uh, curing, I really don't use this gear set at all. I'm sorry, and if I was using it, I definitely wouldn't want crit damage. Um, it does have speed. Nah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like curing. There's only a few sets in this game I really like using, and curing ain't one of them. So there you go, fellas. This was the Fire Knight All Epic Comp. Sia did a million damage. Naya was just here for all my healing. Allure was here to just stun lock and put everyone to sleep. Husk was here to do the, the you know, that he's my primary damage dealer. And then we've got Stagnite, man. Stagnite, who just does it all. Stagnite is the, my five-tool player. He does crowd control. He does decrease down, uh, no, decrease um, attack down, defense down. He slows people down. He increases accuracy. I mean, this dude, he just does everything. Stagnite, I love you. I really do. Anyway, guys, let me show you guys the masteries and the gear and all that other good stuff. And, and like I said, if I really, I'm in second place. If I really wanted to, I would push for number one. But there's no need. Like, just for two extra pieces of Relentless Gear. And my energy's getting kind of low after the CBC. I had, like, 10K energy. Now I'm down to just 2,400. When my energy gets this low, I start getting a little nervous. Like I said, did not do this fusion at all. Don't care about this champion. <laughs> really don't, didn't do this at all. But what I did do, boys, what I did do, and I, now see me on this one. I did grab 125 fragments. I didn't even summon this guy because I'm probably never going to use him. And, and he does look solid. This guy does look pretty solid. He's got some pretty good stats. He's got stun on the A1. Uh, he ignores shield and increased defense and strength and buffs. Uh, also, each hit heals his champion 20%. Damn, this, this guy's actually... I might summon him. Attacks all enemies before attack. You know what? I, I just might summon him. This guy looks pretty damn good for an epic. Strip hide. Oh, what's his passive? Increases champion's crit damage by 10% every time they kill an enemy. Stacks up to 30%. This champion's blades of finality skill kills an enemy. The next skill will ignore 30%. All right. All right. This guy looks like a pretty insane epic damage dealer. And he looks cool. Oh, he's got the crossbow cheese? He's got the crossbow cheese and he's a knife only player? Yeah, you know I got to summon this guy, fellas. Or or just save the fragments for Maud. Let me know, guys, because Maud, Maud looks ridiculous. Her, her kit is insane. Uh, I really want Maud. Or should I? I'll probably get this guy out of a shard anyway, man. It's not hard to get um, epic champions in this game. Legos is a totally different ball game, and I'm I'm already halfway there. But all right, let me let me show you guys the comp. So all right, we've got Naya. Now I do have her. She's fully ascended, as you can see, six star. But I've got her in perception and um, what the heck. Uh, Regeneration. I couldn't remember the name of the gear set. Damn. I haven't had my coffee yet, boys. Bear with me. It's like 6 in the morning here. Uh, so I've got her in regen 
and perception. And these are the stats uh, I have on her. And I've got the, uh, the gears ascended. The ascensions aren't really that great. Just one star. Uh, I've got her in HP, defense. And then we've got her in defensive gloves. Um, we've got her in HP chest. And, of course, speed boots. You know we got to go speed boots with her. And the ring, I've got defense on the ring uh, with, like, lots of attack for some weird reason. I don't know. You, you, she's not really an attack champion, guys. You want to look for HP. You just want to look for survivability with her. I might have to switch up a few of these rings, to be honest. Defense. Basically, all down here, guys. Just make her tanky. You want defense, HP, uh, accuracy, of course. i got a double accuracy roll right here on this. And, of course, the accuracy banner with speed. That's what you want Naya to be. You want her to be tanky. And you want her to be fast. For the blessing, I went with faultless defense. As you can see, it does a lot of good stuff. It increases her speed, her accuracy, her resistance, her defense, HP. And, uh, yeah, it also has a 15% of damage reflected. Kind of like um, what Brogni does. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably have her in, especially for Hydra. A lot of you guys probably have her in this <laughs> cruelty i see a lot of people using cruelty especially six star decreases targets defense by four percent per hit up to 40 percent oh wow yeah all right so for hydra i might actually actually you know what let's switch up right now yeah <laughs> i must i'm gonna change the blessing right now fellas let's go with cruelty because this is yeah i'm about to do my hydra run too so yeah this will definitely come in handy um, I just got, might have to switch some artifacts around because she's got way too much attack and not enough defense. No, wow, no defense on the ring except for the primary stat. I don't know. I might have to switch it up. Anyway, but that's Naya, and these are the masteries I have on her. Uh, I went with offense and defense with Warmaster, of course, because I primarily use her in Hydra. And I've got her doing counterattacks. These are the masteries right here, fellas. Check them out. Copy them. Use them. They're good. Trust me. The good stuff. Uh, next, we've got Allure. And Allure is the Fire Knight Specialist, boys. The Fire Knight Specialist. I've got her in speed and perception. And there you go. These are the stats. Double speed. You want to make her quick. Quick and accurate. That's what you want her to be. Quick and accurate and kind of tanky, too. Uh, even though she, I think she's an attack champion. Yeah, she is an attack champion. But I primarily use her in PvE. Uh, she is not really a PvP champion at all. I mean, she could be. It, depends, it all depends on your level and where you are in the game. Uh, so standard attack, HP, defense. Down here I have her in crit rate. 1% HP? Can we glyph that up? Yeah, let's see if we could glyph that up. There we go, 4%. That's That's much better. That's much better. Do I? Ah, I don't even have her ascended. Right, let's let's ascend her. Let's see what we get on the ascension. Okay, we got some more crit rate. Did we even need crit rate? No, we didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll that to something else. I already have her crit capped. She's crit capped at 102. All right. So then we've got HP on the chest piece, fellas. And oh, can I upgrade this? No, I can't ascend that. Damn. Okay. We've got speed on the boots with accuracy. And these are a total stats. Well, almost 400 accuracy. Damn, I just need one more glyph. we got to get that to 400. We really do. 4,000 attack. Defense a little low. HP kind of low. Ah, she, she does the job, though. Speed 260. Accuracy uh, about 400. She gets the job done. Let me show you guys Naya's uh, stats, too. Okay, I think I forgot to show you guys that. Let's go back to this. These are Naya's total stats, fellas. She's pretty fast. Uh, 432 accuracy. Pretty good HP. Solid defense. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we've got Seer. And we have her also in a six-star blessing. And we are using <laughs> Crushing Rend, which is a fantastic blessing for Seer. The whole thing with Seer is keeping her alive, man. She's, she's tough to keep alive, but man, does she do damage. She might be the best epic in the game just for clearing waves. And she looks so damn cool, doesn't she? Great looking champion. And she's probably the most wanted epic champion by every raid player just because 
her ability to clear waves. And I don't know why she's a support champion. She should be an attack champion because she hits like a damn falling, I don't know, safe <laughs> off a building. <laughs> It'll just crush anybody. The, um, the karma burn really does destroy waves like, oh my god, it's in like a blink of an eye, they'll all be gone. Uh, I have her in Cruelty, and I've got her in Lethal. So these are the setups I have, fellas. I've got her in Attack, HP, Defense, uh, Crit Rate. I should have that Crit Damage. This is an early build. I, this is a build I've been using for like the last three years. <laughs> or whenever this set came out. But it works, damn it. It works. Uh, attack on the chest with some survivability stats and crit damage. And attack on the boots. Oh, with a speed essential. Let's make her faster. Yeah, we can make her faster. Oh, damn it. I don't have enough. Oh, I need I need more oil. More oil, damn it. More oil. <laughs> need more oil. Uh, but there you go, guys. And on the ring, I've got defense on the ring. Uh, crit damage and attack. I mean, there's so many different ways to build her. I just have defense on on the ring with a double attack percentage roll just because, man, she just dies so fast. You know, that's the only downside with Seer. She does not have survivability at all. Uh, even, I got her defense up to 3,000 respectable. Her attack is um, 5,400. Um, we don't have her crit capped, so I need to find a way to squeeze 5% crit damage into her. I mean, crit percentage. And crit damage only at 200. So, I mean, not the best Seer you've probably ever seen. But I'll tell you what, boys. She gets the job done. There's, there's definitely some improvements to be made here, but she gets the job done. Then we've got Husk. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you the masteries. I forgot to show you. Damn. Wow, well, man. Right there. These are the masteries for Allure. And people be in the comment section like, you just show me the masteries, damn it. So, these are the masteries for Allure, fellas. Sorry if I'm uh, forgetting to show you. I'm skipping around a lot. Oh, like I said, man, lack of coffee. Got to get the coffee in. These are Sears Masteries. And I love using her with Helm Smasher. 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense. And it does the job, boys. Trust me. You guys you guys have seen Seer wipe a lot of waves in my videos. She does great. Got her in Crushing Rend. This is a fantastic blessing for her. I highly recommend it. So... All right, we got the artifacts, the masteries, the blessings, all that good stuff, yada, yada. I think the last two people are Husk and Stagnite. So in Husk, I have them in Relentless and Speed. And basically with Husk, fellas, you just want to give him a ton of HP. That's pretty low for him. I wish I could get him up to 100. Um, I do have him crit locked at 100%. Crit damage kind of low. Damn, I got to get these guys' stats up, boys. But these are the stats. Um, these, are the, these are the artifacts I'm using. Um, Relentless, I've got attack, uh, HP, and defense, pretty standard up here. Down here, I've got crit rate, HP percentage on the chest, and speed on the boots with a double flat HP roll. And yeah, down here, we got HP, crit damage, and another HP. Uh, banner. Can I? Oh, I can't glyph him out. Yeah, I need to get some glyphs. Uh, total stats, fellas. There it is again. Take a look. Check it out. I know. Not the most impressive husk in the world. Husk is used by everybody in Hydra. He's a huge Hydra champion. Um, might, might be used in Doom Tower to help clear waves. He, oh, he has a great AoE stun. Uh, wh which ability is it? Yeah, this ability right here. His Despair, his A2, attacks all enemies, 35% chance of placing stun B debuff on one turn. And you could book that down to a much better percentage. Damage based on enemy max HP. Um, his stun is absolutely amazing. Uh, this, this is a great... When I first got Husk, I didn't think he was that good. But man, he's one of the best epics in the game. And he's used uh, pretty much everywhere. Dungeons, well, not in Arena. Well, you probably could use him in Arena. Maybe. <laughs> like I said, it depends on what level. But, man, he looks just so cool. He's a huge Hydra champion, though. Hydra's probably the number one area where he shines. Let's check out his ratings. Yeah, so Clan Boss and Hydra. I, I'd rate this guy a five-star in Hydra. Uh, I don't really use him in Demon Lord, but Hydra's where I use him the most. Um, Dragon Lair. Yeah, he'd probably be pretty good in Dragon, too. 
Yeah, but we're using them right here in Fire Knight. I guess I'd give him a four for Fire Knight. I'd give him a solid four. I'd give him a solid four for Fire Knight. All right. Um, Mastery's right here, fellas. Showed you the gear. The blessing. Let's move along. Let's move along to the final guy. And this is my favorite epic in the entire game, fellas. We are talking about Stag Knight. I have him fully... I even got him a skin. I like him so much. Look at that. I won't even buy a skin in COD, but I'll get one here. Just because I love this dude. I got him in this cool skin. What is the skin, anyway? The Gilded Glider skin. Yeah. That's his classic skin. This is a... This is when I first met Stag Knight, but, you know, he's been such a great champ for me. I went and bought him some new clothes. <laughs> he looks cool. Look at that. So, Stag Knight, man, you are probably my favorite epic champion in this entire game. If you guys pull him, congratulations. Look at look at his ratings. Like, honestly, it should be fives everywhere. This guy is amazing. What? Nah, I'm good, bro. I ain't getting no damn virus. Um, At least I hope I'm not. <laughs> I hope I'm not. All right, guys, so let's go to the build on him. Stagnite. How do I get up? What the hell? What am I doing? Dude, Thunder, you good? All right, so we got him in perception sets. We got him in a crit damage set, and we've got him in... There's a lot of sets going on here. Supersonic, perception, crit damage. He's got a lot going on, fellas. This is an intricate build. And let me show you guys the total stats on him right off the bat. Uh... I do have him crit capped with uh, 203 percentage crit damage. I've got him in 358 accuracy, 217 resistance. Uh, man, I thought, wow, man, look at these guys' stats. They're really not that high. What am I doing? 50, 56,000 HP. I thought it was like at least 80. Attack a little low. I'd like to get that to 3,000. Defense is solid. And he is a defensive champion, I believe. Defense, 3,800. Uh, solid for PvE. Again, these are not PvP stats. I don't use these guys in PvP, but they're pretty solid numbers for PvE. And th this is the gear I have on him, fellas. Perception. Uh, he's... You want him with accuracy. You definitely want him with accuracy for this reason right here. His A2. He, his, this will save you in this game. This decreased defense and decreased attack will help you beat a lot of levels. Uh, his A2 is absolutely incredible. And he's got a decreased speed on the A1. And he even has an accuracy buff for one ally. And I, this guy just does it all, fellas. And I got him on the faultless defense. Um, blessing here. I know a lot of people like using Stagnite with um, this blessing right here. Where is it? Yeah, Phantom Touch. But... I don't know. I think he does enough damage with the, in the build I have him in. Uh, I don't really need that. I'd rather have him in the faultless defense. I want to keep this man alive and keep him doing his thing. So we got perception across the top, guys. These are the artifacts. Um, here I've got him in crit rate. Uh, I've got him in a defensive chest. And, of course, speed on the boots with a double defensive percentage roll. Some crit rate, some attack, some resistance. You know, this, this is just a great all-around build for Stagnite. Uh, he is a support champion. Uh, we got defense on the ring. We've got crit damage on the amulet and accuracy with a resistance roll on the banner. Pretty solid banner here. We've got one roll into speed and HP and defensive percentage. Oh, damn. Can we glyph that out? Wow. All right. So we got lots of room for improvement with glyphs. And uh, we can make this guy even more studly than he already is. But, yeah, that's the Fire Knight comp, fellas. using all epic. And these are the masteries. Did I show the masteries with Husk? Damn it. I think I forgot. These are the masteries for Stag Knight, fellas. Let me go back to Husk. I think I forgot to show you guys the master. Oh, my God. These are the masteries with Husk. War Master. Because, like I said, this guy's a big clan boss champion. And defense just for counterattacks. You want to get as much damage as possible. 50% uh, chance to counterattack with Retribution. Yeah, these Masteries are pretty damn good for Clan Boss, which is pretty much where you're going to use Husk mainly. And Stag Knight, you could use him everywhere. I mean, honestly, you could probably could even use him in Pv, uh, PvP. When I first started playing, I think my main PvP comp was like Arbiter, Stag Knight, uh, Bad El Kazar, and like somebody else. And I, was, I remember doing great. I remember doing great with that comp. Anyway, fellas, that's the all-epic Fire Knight comp. 
I got an hour and 20 minutes left. Do I want to push? Is it even worth it, fellas? Is it even worth pushing this tournament? Like I said, if I wanted to, I could easily finish number one with this epic comp. But just for two more pieces of gear, which probably be insta sharded. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. So, Quilo, you can have number one, man. I'm good where I'm at. You know, I don't think this guy will catch me, but you never know. Sir, Sir Watson. As long as I'm in the top three, I'll be good. I mean, maybe I'll do another run just for good measure. Just for good measure, let's do another run. But anyway, fellas, that's the Epic Fire Night team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like, uh, if you guys have any improvements, any suggestions, what champions do you like to run in your all Epic Fire Night team, drop down in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.